Hello friends, in today's question, a thin wire of length L and uniform linear mass density rho is bent in a circular loop with center O as shown. The moment of inertia of the loop about the axis x x prime is, this is the wire which is bent in the form of loop and we have to suppose to find out the moment of inertia about the x x prime axis. So let us draw the axis which passes through the center and call this as y y prime and we know that moment of inertia about the of a circle loop along the diameter okay so this is basically nothing but a diameter so moment of inertia of the circular loop about the diameter let us suppose it is given as i y y prime so therefore i y y prime will be equal to m half r square where r is the radius now it is given that the length of the wire that is used in the loop is L. So you can say length of the circular loop is equal to L and the linear mass density is given as rho. Linear mass density is given as rho so therefore we can say that the mass of the loop mass of the loop which is given as taken as one uh, sorry m will be equal to rho into l and also this the wire length is now nothing but a circumference of the circle Okay, so therefore we can also say from here that 2 pi r will be equal to L or we can say r will be equal to L upon 2 pi. Now we are going to use theorem of parallel axis. Theorem of parallel axis so moment of inertia about x x prime will be equal to moment of inertia about y y prime plus mass multiplied by perpendicular distance between the axis between the two and its whole square so i y prime is half m r square plus m and this will perpendicular distance between the two axes is nothing but radius so this will be radius square and now we are going to substitute value of mass that is rho l and also value of r in terms of l so we can say our i x x prime will be equal to half mass is given as rho l and r is l upon 2 pi and its whole square plus rho l and r is l upon 2 pi and whole square so we get this as rho l cube and this will be 8 pi square plus rho l cube and this will be 4 pi square which we can written as taking as LCM we get 8 pi square and this is our rho L cube as common so this will be 1 plus 2 so therefore we get the moment of inertia about the axis i about the axis x x prime will be equal to 3 rho L cube divided by 8 
pi square. So this is the moment of inertia about x x prime axis. This is moment of inertia about x x prime. And from here we can say that option number A, not A sorry, it is 3 rho L cube. Option number D is the correct option. So we can say option D is correct. So this completes the question. Thank you.